When it comes to Instagram, I have a love-hate relationship. In terms of coffee, it can be a great place for sharing your work, finding inspiration, and interacting with coffee folk all over the world. But on the other side of the coin, there are things that just feel like blatant attempts to draw attention, and they're just purely visual or aesthetic, and aren't really intended for consumption. Listen, I'm a lover of espresso, and I rarely ever turn down an ice-cold soda, but combining the two and getting it right can be pretty tricky. I don't know if you remember the recipe I did for the Fat Americano, and if you need a refresher, I'll link to that in this video right now. But this trend answers the question that nobody really asked. What happens when you brew your espresso with cold Coca-Cola? Well, the video on Instagram makes it look like a tasty treat. But is it? As you can see, it seems to extract somewhat normally, but as you'd expect, as it makes its way into the cup, it's extra foamy and fizzy. In terms of taste and the texture, it's kind of hard to describe. It's sweet and has some mild coffee undertones, but clearly cold or even room temperature Coke doesn't extract coffee all that well. In reality, it's not as offensive as I thought it would be, but it's not something that I'd go out of my way to make or something that I'd crave. But surprisingly, it's not terrible. But I don't know who needs to hear this, but please keep this one to manual machines only. If you've been a longtime browser of Coffee Instagram, it's likely you've come across something like this. Yep, that's cotton candy, hanging above a hot cup of coffee. The origins of this trend come from a cafe in Shanghai called Mellower, and the drink itself is called Sweet Little Rain. In short, the heat from the coffee steam causes the cotton candy to melt and drip into your cup, sweetening your coffee. So to do this myself, I got some vanilla cotton candy and rigged it up with a wire hanger and made a piping hot Americano. The cotton candy looked like it tried to melt, but either this candy is packed too tight or maybe the coffee isn't hot enough. But I wasn't ready to give up that easy. After some time with the heat gun and very little success, I gave it a quick dip into the coffee and tasted it. In reality, cotton candy wasn't all that effective as a sweetener, and beyond its visual aesthetic when it actually works, the whole thing is kind of described as a meh. So let's leave this one on Instagram. In theory, the idea of coffee ice cubes sounds great. You can just drink your coffee at your own leisure. But what no one mentions or no one talks about is the downsides of them melting. Of course, on Instagram it looks great. You can't deny the aesthetic quality, but what about actually drinking it? When it comes to coffee, we always talk about the importance of ratios and balance. But in this case, the ratios and the balance are always changing, and that's not really good. At the start, it's mostly milk. If you drink it fast, you didn't really get much coffee. If you drink it slow, there is a point where it reaches a nice balance, but it disappears about as quickly as it arrived. In reality, coffee ice cubes feel like an exercise in futility, and they feel like more frustrating than appealing, at least when it comes to drinking coffee, which, contrary to a lot of the content out there, is actually the point of coffee. But that's all my stomach can take for one day, so I'm gonna wrap this one up here. This actually could make a fun series, so if you have any ideas or recipes that are weird or unique that you see on Instagram or TikTok or wherever they might be, let me know those. I'd be interested in maybe trying them out in the future. Uh, if you have any other questions about coffee or anything else, drop them in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Patreon if you want to help me make more and better videos at the link in the description and the upper right-hand corner right now. Check out my Instagram at Prometheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Prometheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.